Hello and welcome. I'm Modele Sharafa Yusuf. The Police Service Commission is the civilian oversight body established and empowered to appoint, promote, discipline, and dismiss police officers, except, of course, the Inspector General of Police. The objectives of the Commission are to make the relationship between the public and the police one of trust and confidence instead of uh, suspicion and indifference. And former Inspector General of Police, Sir Mike Okiro, is the current chairman of the Police Service Commission. Sir Mike Okiro joins us today on View from the Top, and I would like to thank him very much. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you so much. But before we start our conversation, here are a few things I'd like you to know about my guest. Sir, give us a brief, if you will, on the uh, police reform report. Uh, the police reform report is uh, all encompassing. It had to do with uh, issues that make the police more efficient, that make the police more amenable to the members of the public, that would reduce insecurity and there was a just crime. And that on the other words also make the public make police take such actions that make the police appreciate the fact that they are working for the people. And the people will call it assist the police by way of information, by way of uh, cooperation, to ensure that the job of the police is made effective. So when is uh, the white paper on this? When will it be released and when will we start implementing it? Uh, the white paper will soon be released and uh, once the implementation starts. But all the same, uh, the reform equally calls on funding, the aspects of the funding, the reform, which the, gov the federal government to contribute, the states and local governments to contribute also. Is that what's delaying implementation? Is all of the points been agreed? Yeah, not, not all have been agreed. It's still been discussed. Uh, what are the sticking points? Uh, uh, the sticking points, uh, a, few, a few months ago, there, there was a Council of State meeting where the governors agreed that the police will be funded from its laboratory uh, methods by getting 1% of the budget for the police. That is and the first step. That is to make sure that the police is funded to a level where Nigerians can say yes, the police is trying. And the government is still trying because uh, if they are funding, all, all the good fingers go to the government. Because if the government fails to fund the police, the police do not generate internal revenue. So they depend solely on government. So if there is a fault in funding, naturally there will be fault also in the performance of the police. What is the singular most important thing that you think will have to be done to revolutionize the Nigeria police? A lot of things to be done. You can't really point out one single thing that needs to be done to change the police. What? Uh, like? Let us want to go down to the catalog. Please. Of things to be done. One, you have to change the cycle of the police. Also, cycle the civilian. Because it takes you to tango. Also, look at the way for the police. Sometimes look at some of the laws. All the laws need to be reviewed yeah, because the job of the police is to enforce laws. The police does not go down to know whether these laws are acceptable for the people. 
when they are told to enforce it, they must enforce it. And if the police is built to enforce laws that uh, is 30 feet in Imica, the hatred does not go to anybody but the police, the man enforcing the laws. Also, uh, I think of the welfare of the police, the police got to be well paid, well catered for.